Hello. I'm not in the military, but I'm a soldier of God. My name is Chad Emron Robertson, and I feel God's presence even now. I've been seeking after God for a long time. Since the age of 21, I've been saved, baptized, and filled with the precious Holy Ghost. And because of that, he reigns on me. And when I say he reigns on me, literally, rain in the spirit comes down upon me. My God, this is a video just explaining some of the things I see as a prophet to the nations. Hallelujah. First and foremost, I'm nothing without the Savior and the, the keeper of the world, Jesus Christ. And this video is not for showing off, nor tooting my own horn. But I'm going to tell you something. When you get in the presence of God, he'll show you things that you've never seen. Some of the things I've seen in my walk with God or while I was worshiping one time in my room, personal, I saw in the spirit, the spirit of the Lord, he told me, he said, get on your knees and praise me. And I can remember at uh, Job, how he said that naked I came from the womb and naked I go. So I got down on my knees and all of a sudden I began to sing and I heard angels all around me playing trumpets the most beautiful sound I'd ever heard in my life and then the Spirit of the Lord told me he said you can relax now you see just like on the seventh day he rested we have to take time to rest so as I began to rest I looked up and it manifested a cloud an actual cloud in my room do you understand me and I looked up and it was as if the roof of my house had come off and the presence of God was just so thick his tangible glory was in the house oh my god and uh, after he showed me that 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 first thing that was like my first surreal experience with God I had begun soaking in his presence and what soaking is is you just begin to get in his presence you love his presence and you want to live in his presence amen so I began to disconnect myself with certain individuals that meant no good because we all know once you come to God you still got to take some knuckleheads off of you off of your your team or your list of friends you got to get a certain people out of your circle or else you can't hear from God hallelujah so I remember this one day Oh my God, it, it's as clear as day. I saw in the spirit, it was as if God appeared before me, his, his, his manifested presence, and I saw confusion. I saw, you ever uh, turn on the television when you don't have no cable, when you're broke as a joke, and all your shh. It was as if it was confusion before me. It was a light of confusion. And all of a sudden, something came and it just pierced the light. It, it, was, a, it was a light that just pierced. And then all of a sudden, I became, I looked to my left and I saw a great fish and this fish was on the wall and it shouted blasphemies toward God and uh, my spirit came out of my body. My God, I was so afraid, but I could really visualize everything. I knew what was happening. I was not sleeping, but I couldn't move and, and I saw myself above my room. Oh my God. So the f a hey, the fish shouted blasphemies towards God, and what this fish is the representative of is blasphemous voices that try to come and and, and curse uh, God or, or or say bad things about God. So the fish was too strong; I could not rebuke it. I began to say in Jesus' name, but nothing came out of my mouth. It was just like this, and the fish came closer and closer and closer. And so finally power rose up inside of me and I said I rebuke you in Jesus name and the fish left praise God and so as I'm still in spirit over my body God just began to just show me different things like the colors of heaven and it's as if I was going to heaven and I thought in my mind, oh my God, this is amazing. I'm actually going to heaven and the rapture is happening. And uh, I saw bodies laying on the ground. Bodies, I mean, literally, hey, bodies. 
with with no spirit in it it was it was as nothing it was as if the dust had come back to the ground and i got confirmation because a word must be with confirmation the bible says the spirit will go back to god and the flesh will return to dust from where it was hallelujah so believe it or not i'm a visionary i'm a seer in the spirit realm now i want to talk specifically about my conversion testimony and continue to say that when I be, when I, I I finally got everybody out of my life, God said, boot them, boot them, boot them. They're not for you, boot them, boot. I was spending time with nobody but God. I was in my room five, six hours just praying. But I mean, the power of God was upon my life and I could literally see demons. I'm talking about demons showing up, but when I began to speak the word of God, they left. They left. I saw them on people. I, I, I. I began to see time slowing down for me as I walked in the spirit. Oh my God, there is another dimension out here. So let me begin to tell you that one day I was sleeping and all of a sudden uh, the spirit of the Lord came upon me. And when you have a vision, it's like you see it before you. It's like you're translucent into another dimension. Hey, and you begin to see things and, and hear noises and see colors that you had not seen it is not of this world it is not of this world it is something that is not visible with the naked eye so God took me and the Lord Jesus Christ showed up in a form I say he was in a robe a white robe and he had a sash and his presence was full of glory and majesty so the Lord Jesus Christ he took me up quickly and I flew I'm talking about quicker than a jet G5 just like that Wham! and then all of a sudden we're at the Kilimanjaro mountains he said this is yours I said thank you Lord I said thank you Lord and then he took me to another high place he said all these are yours all these are yours I said oh my god if this is true Lord show me more so we ended up going to another place it was it was a house and I literally uh, stepped outside in spirit form and me and Jesus stood at the house and I looked in the windows and it was me. It was me and my family. God literally showed me the beginning from the end. He said, I know the plans that I have for your life. Hallelujah. To give you a great future. He's a provider, I tell you. So what I'm saying is God loves us. He's watching out for us. You know, please give your life to God. I'm telling you, he has more than the eye can see. He will determine to bless you. I hope this video has blessed you because it, it's blessed me just, just being who I am and with my personality. God bless you. This is Brother Chad Robertson from Lafayette, Louisiana.